calling. I'm falling. Don't know what it is you do to me. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an IKEA hacks video, and I'm so so excited to show you guys three hacks which are budget friendly and make the furniture look so so expensive so I really hope you like this video if you do and you want to subscribe I'd really really love to have you over to check out any of my other videos anyway let's get on and show you my three IKEA hacks so I'm gonna take this TV cabinet which is quite old now and the boys have just run their toys up and down it and it's just ruined so I'm gonna just give it a little new lease of life by painting the top of it pink to go in our living room and I'm also going to change the handles to a gold colour so I'm just going to mask and tape that off first of all so that it doesn't go over the lines and then I'm just going to take this pink paint, I'll link this one down below as well and paint over the top, you can see how scuffed it is, it's about two years old so I thought rather than buy a new one I will just hack this and make it look really fancy and new. I'm also going to take these handles off because they are grey and the majority of our lounge is gold accent so I'm going to take those off and then I'm going to give them a little spray. I'll link down below which spray I'm going to use but I'm going to, I've am going taken these off and I'm just going to give them a quick spray on one side and then turn them over and spray on the other and this spray takes about 10 minutes to dry to touch dry but I left it about half an hour before I tried to put them back on. So it's all painted I'm just going to take this off and hope that there's no spillage over the underneath and I'm really pleased with that. I think I didn't mean to get satin finish, which is a little bit annoying. And then I'm going to put on the new handles. So there we go, I'm so happy with how this looks. It's a satin finish, as I said, but I think you could do this with a chalk paint if you wanted to, but I just really love how it looks now, and it just gives a new lease of life, and obviously the gold accents as well tie in nicely with the new lounge that we have. So the next hack I'm showing you is how to change this really, really boring plain stool into something that looks really luxe and expensive. And it's so, so easy. This is the easiest hack of all of these. I've gone for the white chair. And I am thinking of spray painting this gold because I want it to look like a really luxe style stool which is going to go for my office or possibly in my lounge because they would actually go in my living room. So I'm going to be upcycling this, I'm going to be covering this and possibly spraying this and I'm going to make it into this beautiful faux fur stool. First of all I'm just going to build the actual stool and it's really really simple, it just takes four screws and a nut and bolt. And so I'm just going to do that as per the instructions and then turning it over you can just tighten it so that it's nice and stable when you're sat on it. Probably need to use a wrench for that but I didn't have one. So my helper here is bringing over my cushion and it's this kind of Mongolian lamb style and this is from Matalan and it was £10 and it's so snuggly isn't it Henry? Yeah. It's beautiful and I've gone for this blush pink because obviously that goes with my <coughs> office and my lounge decor. Now ideally you need a cushion with a zip down the middle but we, I didn't find one so this zip is along the side so I'm going to unzip it and then show you how to attach it. So what you need to do is take your seat cover and put it upside down into the cushion like this and you'll see these little bits here you'll see those going in and then what we're gonna do this is really daunting because we're gonna just zip it up what you're gonna be able to feel in here is can you feel those like knobs in there little yes. bits sticking out yeah so you see that there we are gonna cut a hole in that bit there of the cushion which is really really daunting because obviously it's a brand new cushion but they are then going to poke through and then we are going to be able to attach them to our Cut. stool. What we've got is our four points sticking out and then we are going to get our chair, yeah. our stool, our oh stool. sorry baby, and match them up. Can you match them up? Match them up. I actually spent ages trying to do these screws the wrong way around, the little plastic caps. So yeah, make sure you do it this way if you're doing this hack as well. And these screws just go in and it's really, really simple. So here it is, finished. It is so, so quick and easy. As you can see, my four-year-old helped do it. So it just looks so much more expensive. I've decided not to paint the legs because actually I quite like them white. And I really, really love this pink colour and it's so, so inexpensive. So the cushion was £10 and the, ch the stool was £3.25. 
so that is such a bargain I've seen them online for like 60 70 pounds so I'm really impressed with that one okay so today I'm gonna to be doing the Vitz Joe Ikea double shelving unit and I wanted the single one for absolutely ages but they just haven't had it in stock so I'm gonna to have to have a double one Guys, I'll link down in the description bar the gold spray paint that I use because it's really good and it comes in silver, gold, copper, rose gold, loads of colours. I've had an absolute nightmare with this because basically I ran out of paint, spray paint twice and by the time I finished it was like 11 o'clock at night and it was so dark. But as you can see, well this actually is a good one but it rained and so all of the paint, let's just turn it over. Look, look at this. All the paint has done like this effect where it got rained on, so it's a complete disaster. But I'm gonna go with it anyway. So this, I've done half the structure and I'm gonna build it and then I will see which bits need painting that are gonna be on show and then I can make them look a little bit uh, more polished. Guys, don't forget to go and check out my Instagram. I'll leave the link down in the description bar so that you can see all of my other interior styling stuff. So this is gonna be the bottom and I'm going to cover it. It's like a brown color, which is strange. So I'm gonna cover it with some marble and that should go nicely with the gold. Big fan of this marble contact paper. I've used it quite a lot and I just pull it along bit by bit. That's the key to not getting any bubbles. And I also use a credit card or something like that just to make sure it's all smoothed out. And then I use a really, really sharp Stanley blade blade to cut the edges so that they are super neat and you don't need to worry about tucking them in and everything like that. Right, this has finally been finished. Now this is the back. As you know, I've run out of paint, so it's a little bit sketchy around the back, but this is gonna be the front. And now I'm just gonna put in the shelves and also add in my marble bottom shelf. So this is what it's gonna look like from the front. I'm really pleased with that. Looks really nice. Ta-da! This is it in all its glory. I just now need to find things to fill it up with. I didn't actually want the double, I only wanted a single, but they didn't have the single in stock at, like ever. They haven't had it in for ages. I really love this marble shelf. I'm probably gonna put a little box in there with some bits and bobs in, like blankets and stuff. And then slowly over time find things to put on the shelves. So this hack I actually have already done for you guys, but it is this stool which was about four pounds. It's actually a stool, so it does take a lot of weight, but I have just sprayed it with gold spray paint, as you can see, and it just looks so much more expensive than it did when it was just the pine color, and it just goes really nicely in my gold and pink lounge now. So this one, as I said, was about four pounds. I'll link it down below. I can't quite remember what it's called, but it just works really well in this room and I think it looks much more expensive than it was. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that video and that it gave you some inspiration if you're also looking to produce some IKEA hacks of your own. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Heartbreak, heartbreak.